Are you a free to play player looking to try and improve and maybe excel in MIDI Hero Summon as well? Well, guess what? This is a sponsored content by ZB Games today, but I have you all the information you're going to need to actually excel in this game. We rerolled accounts, we've done everything you're going to need to know, and that is going to be all in today's video. So stay tuned for all the information for the ultimate guide for a free to play player to excel in Mini Heroes Summoner's War. Yes, smash a like, comment, and subscribe for more daily videos of me, Mr. Sneaker, a sponsored content creator at currently for Mini Heroes Summoners War. And we've been working alongside ZB Games, trying to get them to get a really good Discord server, which you guys can easily click on that QR code just located on that side there. Um, and just put your camera on, and guess what? Your phone's gonna connect you to it, and you can join the community here and join a brand new idol game, hopefully for the future and this is one that honestly i've had a blast with and we've been playing purely free to play and i know a lot of players do play free to play games and the thing is it's a fair way of playing right because maybe when it's your birthday maybe it's christmas time or a holiday guess what you get the gift card then you spend a little bit in the game until next year right which is fair so we what I'm going to do is basically give you guys my advice. This is what I've been doing in this game, um, especially on the re-roll account now, to excel and be pretty strong within our server, right? Because if we look in the top powers now, I'm ranked 21 in the server, and I'm free to play, and I'm closing in on some of these guys. This guy's level 56. He's six levels higher than me, but... I'm almost the same power, right? So that just shows you the quality of my team is actually really good compared to that guy's team, right? So let's go down and just showcase what I would basically say to you guys as a free to play player. So firstly, your first account is not, I don't think it's gonna be your main account. And the reason I say this is the first tip for a free to play player in the start is honestly just re-roll your account. And what I mean by doing this is pretty simply, when you go to settings and you go out of here, you can quit the game. And when you quit the game and it disappears, so if we go boom, and we boot up mini heroes there, what it's gonna allow us to show is the new servers, right? And the game always, always announces the new servers. So what you could do as a free to play player is go on a more recent and brand new server. So for example, 148 is the newest one. So you join 148 and then crack on, right? And what you would do is just play the seven days. This is what I would suggest, play seven days. And as a free to play player, the first seven days is the most important because in those seven days, you're gonna get your first support hero, which is Dio, uh, Dio Chan, which you're gonna use quite a lot in the early game. And then after that, you will decide to keep the account or not. And the reason why is after seven days, you're gonna use your hero summoning icons, right? So you're gonna go into the ritual area, you're gonna try and summon and recruit all of these heroes, and after seven days, you're gonna look at your roster. And if your roster doesn't look like a roster you're happy with, guess what? Just start again and don't worry about it because you, there's so many heroes in this game that you're going to be able to re-roll an account and you are going to get different heroes compared to next, last time. And that's what I did and that's what I'm going to advise you guys to do because what I did is re-roll the account and it allowed me to get Emperor Zian really early on. It also allowed me to get Sima Yi really early on. I had Pang Tong really, really early on, as well as Dio Chan, and then I used Sung Xing Zhang, and I switched her out eventually, and I tried out some different heroes, um, one of them being Huang Zong, as well as Zhang Fei, right? So we've we've tried these different heroes in the early game, which is fine, and what that's what you're allowed to do. Same with Cao Cao. We used Cao Cao a lot in the early game, because he's actually really fun in the early game. And once you've actually got a decent team where you can, where you're happy with, what I would do then is start actually going for a specific team. It sounds crazy, but after the seven days, what happens is pretty crazy. You're gonna get access to Hao Tao, which you can use if you want. 
I'm not using him because I actually have now fallen out of love with him and um, because of the way my new team is um, and I'm going to show you that tip on how to try and form a new team after but once you've got the how to week this is where you're going to start looking at your heroes and you're going to make a decision and you're going to make a decision on what team you actually are going to run so you could run something like Mao you know Mao Chow if you get this character with you know um, Zan Hao Wan and maybe Gong Sun Zun, um, Gong Sun Zan, shall I say. And these three guys could be a devastating lineup where you have Mao Chao in the middle, you have uh, Gong Sun protecting your um, Wan at the back, and then you might have something like Emperor Zan and Pang Tong just to fill out the healing for your team, which would be a really powerful combo. So you could do stuff like that. And once you've decided what your team is, you're instantly going to start trying to build it. And it sounds crazy, I know, but you are going to start trying to build it. And what I mean by building it is pretty simple. Obviously, you have your basic team, which you started off with. And you're going to use that team to push through your main line quest line. You're going to use it and it will probably get you to around 22 to maybe 21, right? You could get around 20 as well and then you might get a little bit of a stuck. And that's when you're going to have to start changing things. And when you get stuck, and, and that's as well in Conquest. In Conquest, you're going to get stuck around stage 16. And if you get stuck around stage 16, it's because your team that you've used isn't strong enough. And that's why you need to use the specified team you're going to be working on. And that's what I've done. So how you, can you do this? And I know it's a, maybe a little bit of a ranty video. I do apologize. But it is through the smell objective. Rebirthing your heroes is honestly the thing that fixes your account and your game. And what you can do, as you can see, is I rebirthed all of my heroes. So if you can imagine my Cow Cow is rebirthed, the Dio Chan rebirthed, the Zhao Tao rebirthed, Pang Tong rebirthed, even my Sima Yi and Hao Tao, guess what? Both rebirthed. And that allowed me to switch my entire team so I had everything, all my resources, everything I have put into that team i get back and because i got it back i can reinvest into a brand new team of heroes that i have and that's what i did and i've done it on the team that you can see right now and if you've not checked out my previous video it is honestly what i would suggest the best free to play player team comp and the reason is it's just it does so much damage with this team Emperor Zhan is the best tank in the game. With Sun Quan, you run four Wu heroes. So all of those heroes get the shield apart from Zem Emperor Zhan. But guess what? He's the tankiest hero in the game. So you're happier. You're happy anyway that he doesn't get it. It's fine, right? But then you've got an insane AoE combo with Zhu Yu and Sun Shang. You have insane burn uh, potential with Zhu Yu again and even Dai Kao, the support hero. And the Dai Kao also allows you to stun. So that just gives you so much utility, DPS and healing and tanking capability within a team. And the cool thing is it allows you... Honestly, to just try different relics in different scenarios, which is great because it allows you to obviously push your season tasks, as you can imagine, like I've been pushing, to then hopefully unlock some seasonal heroes for your account. So that's a really big tip there, honestly. Rebirth your heroes. And when you rebirth those heroes and you decide on a team, and I would honestly decide on this team. I'm not going to lie. This team is monstrous and what you could do and this is what i'm doing now i have Z sun shing um shang sing right and she's very powerful and i might gold her but i might hold off because if i actually go to the filter and click on the woo camp you can see i actually have some more ssrs in that woo camp and i might replace her with sun c you know this could be a potential replacement for my team because it has a very powerful storm ability which it grants himself some mana shield 
He also attacks all the enemies. He also has a way to restore his HP. And he also allows the mage, one mage hero basically to increase their damage. Meaning my um, Dekal here as well as the Zuyu could potentially get buffed. It's random. It's, it's crazy, right? So I really do like that potential replacement for the team. So that's what I am doing. And that just showcases there as a free to play player the mentality you should be having in this game right it allows you to look at a team and go right i have these guys and i still technically have like sun c sun zhang um tashi c i've got live meng and zhu tao all as potential replacements for sun xing sang and if that is going to be the case all i have to do is honestly go into my bag and use like these legendary sculptures for like the assigned heroes of randoms and hope i hit her and work on her right and that's the way honestly i've been running this game right so that's the main team comps team strategy maybe philosophy of the game i hope you've enjoyed it so far and um, if you have smash like comment and subscribe but the last thing i'm going to talk about is gems because obviously for a lot of players gems is the biggest thing for free to play players and a lot of you might be wondering what i spend gems on and i'm not gonna lie the only thing i honestly spend gems on is the the vigor so what i would do is in a day if i'm trying to push a load of power is smash as much into the vigor and by smashing it into the vigor it allows me to actually go into these heroes as you can imagine like emperor jean here and i could go and then go to the cultivate advance and i can get these turtle spirits allowing them to level up same with this sun kwan right now i could quickly sweep and get those 20 and up unlock him right and by having more vigor it actually levels you up quicker it also gets your heroes up into a very good quality as you can see and that's all you should be spending those gems on so if you go to any area in the game which it says you can get vigor which means you know this is the cheapest one 50 gems for 100 vigor always get that it's the cheapest one then you could go down into your daily feast and your legion parties this is where you can go and you can claim for free or i can obviously hit right so let's claim that one for free because i've made it in time and if i use 100 gems i could collect this 100 here or when fist free activates in an hour and 40 I could get another 50 for free or pay 100 to get 100 claim, right? So there's another way you can get Vigor. You can also do your daily feasts. This, I've expired with 100 gems. You can claim that or wait for the timer and get it for free that way. So honestly, getting Vigor is probably the only way I've been spending majority of my gems, honestly. And by spending Vigor, like I said, it's allowed me to hit level 50. I'm almost level 51. It also allows me to level up the heroes. It also lets me prepare to then, obviously, if I want to upgrade Dio-chan, you know, in the future, you can see I already have a bunch of greens and blues and purples already ready from maybe in the past that I have and I can just start working on future heroes, right? So that's why I use gems in the way I do. In recruits, I'm just gonna just generalize it. I always just do times 10, just wait until you get the times 10. I don't buy these anymore. At the start I did, but I realized this is a mistake. I wouldn't pay 120 gems for this 50% off. Honestly, guys, you're gonna get enough um, summoning from that anyway, but, I would pay the 50% for the hero order one. Why? Because 180 gems allows you to actually use a camp recruit. So if you really want to, like you can see here, I could spin another five times, which I'm just gonna do for the fun of it. We could spin five times here and allow us to try and get ourselves a legendary hero or a woo hero that we've been trying to work on, right? So it's a very cool little system. Honestly, I would invest in there and what i would try and do is try and do the times 10 it doesn't really give you any better odds honestly because of the way the system works with the guarantee on the 40th spin as well as you get the free 20 stones every 20 spins so honestly you can spend gems there that's okay but i don't i don't spend too many 
on this and just use it on Vega, honestly. But that's pretty much it. That's going to be my guide for free to play players on Mini Heroes. And we will play it and showcasing it live for you guys while we're recording this video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We're going to be just going in, collecting these claims and doing our daily tasks for the day because obviously if you don't do your daily tasks that's another bad one because you can see how much gems you get per task completed as well as the free vip at the end right so make sure you do all of that because it helps you level up right so i hope you've enjoyed it that's all my advice for free to play players i can give you so far without making it in an hour to two hour video hopefully it's not too long and you've followed along in this video but a nice generalization at the end just to give you guys a heads up start with a re-roll account meaning you know start an account play through seven days if it's not got the best heroes that you like guess what just start a new account it's fine the new servers constantly get announced through the notifications at the very top here which you can see and then once you find a, a starter account after seven days that you're happy with then you start pushing through. So you push through your mainline, push through your conquest, push through all the stuff that you need to do to level up. And then you will start to get to a point where you, you start hitting a wall with the heroes you're using. And then when you hit that wall, what I would suggest is pretty simple. Go back, check your heroes, look at all the SSR heroes you've got because you can see I have a mass amount. I've got an over 22 plus um, heroes there, all in SSR that I could use potentially as a, as a team. Pick five that you like the way they work together and make sure they all work together really, really well. And once you do, just go to Smell, rebirth your old team, and then create your newest team. And once you create that new team and start uh, get carrying on and try that main line and try that conquest that you were stuck on, You'll be surprised on how far you will actually push through and kill those opponents. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Smash the like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Mr. Sneaker. This has been for the free to play players and maybe even the experienced vet spenders that are looking to try and actually maximize their spending and get better heroes and get better pushing power potentially in mini heroes soon as well. And if you are, guess what? You can remember, you can hit the Discord by using the phone scanning it on that little QR code and guess what the gift codes are below me and in the description below and it will allow you to get some freebies to start off your account every single time you do a re-roll account so I hope you've enjoyed it smash the like comment and subscribe and until the next one stay safe stay sneaky peace out